Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm not from that stack, but it's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet, and today I want to show you how we can use Pinocchio to run and download Stable Diffusion. Now, it should be said that uh, AI takes a lot of uh, intelligent information, knowing programming and headless Linux stuff, distributions, all that fun stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut to the chase and use a bit of a hack called Pinocchio, Pin Pinocchio.co, download this thing, save it in the particular spot you want to, I already got it downloaded and installed, and what we're going to do is we're going to run it here, and then I'm going to show you the easy way to install Stable Diffusion with it. So I got it open here. You can see I got a few things going on. Deeper Hermes is a large language model that... Uh, talks to you more than your average one diff diff rhythm you make music uh live poetry you can turn images into portraits and pyramid flow you can do lots of fun stuff anyways you want to come up to discover and find stable diffusion so here it is stable diffusion web ui very nice, very simple. Now, here's the easy part. Just a one-click install, which is wonderful. And you get d download automatic 111. Of course, you got to do that. And then we kind of sit and wait while it does all of the downloads for us. Install. Okay. Hit the install button. Let's see what happens next. Now, I've installed this the manual way, and it can definitely be a giant pain in the butt. So, yeah, here we go. Receiving objects this is going to take a while, and it's just going to download for you. It's going to run everything, all the scripts, all of that stuff automatically. Man, Stable Diffusion can be a pain in the butt to install if you are not uh, quite used to uh, headless installs. That is for sure. Be prepared for this to take a lot of time. You might want to go get a coffee as it's installing. Alright, so that took about 20 minutes to get to this position. And we're downloading more. Yay! Alright, I feel like I'm about 45 minutes into this. Like I said, it takes a while. Just wait. And even after it installs, we might have to go through a few things again. But still, it's much easier than the alternative. Alright, so that install took some time. But uh, here we have it. Here we have it. So here's what we need to do in order to get this thing going. Here's what we need to understand. First off is the checkpoint. The checkpoint is the primary thing. The checkpoint is the file that we use to um, um, figure out what we're going to draw. Now, let's say, how do I explain this? The checkpoint is the artist, basically. The artist. Now, let's say the artist wants to learn something different and they want to know something different and they'll go talk to their friend let's say let's say after they talk to their friend that extra stuff that they learned will become a laurel basically now the laurel I hope I a lore, Laura is down here and that is something that you can add to the checkpoint basically so I'm gonna go gonna hit refresh okay here we go we have SD XL base 1.0 safe to then and yeah let's just go with that so what we're going to stick with is text to image and we're going to write something here in the prompt and down here we're going to write something that we don't want so we want uh, a picture of a a cat tabby tabby cat long hair and what we don't want is a dog uh, usually what we actually do there is once we get the picture we take a look at what the picture is uh, is and if there's anything in it that we don't want then we put it here uh, maybe extra feet extra toes and over here in sampling steps now ultimately what this is is just to give you an idea now when AI does this stuff and you can actually do this on your own you can do something like this the first sample step it'll give a bunch of blobs basically and 
and every other step the blobs will turn into something that looks a little bit more like what you want like let's say you want a castle on a tree it might take three steps for the blobs to get to this point but if you give it up to 20 or 30 steps this tree and this castle are going to look really good and if you bring it up to 150 it's just too much usually people use about 30 to 40 now that's not always the way it goes but it does often go that way you get your length and your width here um so if you want it to be to be widescreen let's say 1280 oh, 1280 times 720 so that'll give you a 720p kind of image and then we'll hit generate we're not going to worry about lauras right now and wow actually that's pretty quick that's pretty quick and then we get a picture of a kitty cat right there that looks like my cat patches they used to have a cat named patches that was just like that long hair furry adorable now that's really lovely okay so next step let's make it a little bit silly maybe once it's done just just to give you an idea i have uh oh there's a cutie and uh rocket on head let's put a rocket launcher on its head now and see what it looks like i gotta say that looks very nice that looks very nice now while that's going i wonder if i can show you all right all right so here's where we get into if we want to get a really good rocket launcher we might have to have a laura that tells it how to use that for example so let me try something else pretty blonde woman dancing in the rain outside it generate it is legitimately really awesome to watch these pictures come to life and I'm going to show you another interesting thing if you're the artsy type. So sometimes these things come out looking really good and sometimes they come out looking really warped. But it is, it's really something. It is really something to see these things come out. But you got to be really careful sometimes because you can get, you got to be careful let's say. This is offline, this is all on your computer, but you can definitely create images outside the law, which is concerning. Okay, so here we have... This isn't too bad, honestly. This really isn't too bad. Um, let's get her in a bikini. Alright, now let's get her at the beach in a red bikini. Alright, alright, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now what I'm going to put in for the negative is this deform, deformed man's face and instead of pretty blonde woman I'm going to put in Taylor Swift dance and I'm going to add some cats to her shoulder. Dance face here we go let's see how it turns out all right so here this isn't perfect but with a lot of fine tuning you can get what you need maybe we'll change this into Taylor Swift playing a concert for cats and see how that looks all right let's look at those totally not deformed everyone <laughs> Once again, you have to have the right checkpoint and the right words. You can get away with a lot. And here's one thing I want you to try. Just take the words out and see what it makes without any prompts at all. And 
I often find what comes out to be very beautiful, delicate, and artistic. It's like watching a computer dream. I didn't put anything in. And it looks like we have a desert that has a rail yard of sorts. Let me try another one. Yeah, I gotta say, not as nice as one other ones that I've had. Alright, so if we go over to the Civet AI and check this out. Checkpoint train. Yeah, this should be this checkpoint. SDXL. We can see some of the things they've managed to get to work. Let's see if we click on some. Oh, that's a pretty one. Now, in the prompts, let's copy this, paste here, copy the negs, click here, and run it. Let's see if it's anything like what we had in the image. Or maybe this is a, another checkpoint altogether. Geez, I love the interpretations though. No, I think I was wrong. I don't think that was the uh, correct one. But still, that's really pretty. Let's make another one and see what it comes out to be. So this is part of the fun of doing all of this stuff. Actually, I'm going to get ChatGPT to give us a good prompt. SD... XL 1.0 Oh wow, I kind of like that. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you can make some beautiful images. I'm not sure if you can make much money off of this stuff. <laughs> okay. Let's try elegance. So, I literally asked ChatGPT to give me... Oh, I didn't ask you to make it. I wanted to put more information in. Well, that's pretty. Now, you want to have a good video card when you do this. Just give you an idea what I got. I have a RTX A2000, 12 gigabytes. 12 gigabytes is pretty good. But if you have an older thing, you might be waiting about 20 minutes for an image, which is okay if you don't have money, but you have time. Then it's fine. Fine, just fine. Not bad. Definitely a beautiful woman, I'll say for sure. One thing you can always expect is uh, to be able to make beautiful women <laughs> on this uh, unit. They all, all checkpoints seem to be really good at making beautiful women. Oh wow, look at that. 
Yeah, that's definitely a pretty whammons, I gotta say. Anyways, I want to show you where we can get prompts. Actually, before that, um, let's take a look at how we can, uh, or where we need to put uh, files, basically. Stable diffusion. Okay, so um, so here we can see I put my Pinocchio data in uh, my D drive, which you might might be a good idea for you. Drive. Now I need to figure out where to show you to put. Okay, so this is the location I had to go to. Data, Pinocchio drive, drives, peer, and then D17. Man, that's strange. All right. All right, so here we get checkpoints. We can put our checkpoints and put our laurels in here. Um, one sec, I'm gonna grab my laurels. Models. Laura's, sorry, I keep calling them laurels. And back, back, back. I'll show you where to get these on your own. But for now, I'm just going to move the ones I got here. It takes a little bit. It takes only 15 gigs. It's not so bad. Okay, go to Civet AI, basically. Find an image that you like. Lots of pictures of women. <laughs> Find an image that you like. They have all kinds of beautiful images. And it shows you right here the checkpoint and the laurel. Uh, the embedded is for a different type of thing. And when you download them, and it's going to go to... Oh, Epic Jugger? Alright, now let's try Laura. Okay. We'll show hidden. And then when you want to download it, click here. And then just drop it into the file that you want it in. And once you do that... Now oh, there's supposed to be a refresh button here. Oh, let's do a refresh the whole thing, maybe. Laurel. Ah. Let's see. I wonder why that didn't quite take one second. Oh, my buttons aren't working. I'll hit this to refresh the page. There we go. So we can click here and add detail, and right there, detail will be added. Long-haired cat, tabby. And we'll run it. And in theory, it will add some detail to the pussycat. Now that I've refreshed, it has to reload the um, checkpoint. Come on, kitty cat. The last minute always takes a little bit of extra time to get. And there we go. We got a cat with more detail than before because we use the laurel to add detail to it. Anyways, yeah. So I covered how to install, how to use, how not to use how to do laurels, and where to put them. So yeah, that's about it for me, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this stuff, please leave a like. If you got any question, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you dislike, hit that dislike. But uh, hopefully, there's some good stuff for you. And anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Now from that stack, but it's the easy way to run Stable Diffusion. And I'm out of here. Have a good one, folks. And take care of each other, will you?